Okay, cool. So we are going to a hotel called Sahara Hotel. So when the power goes out in the building, it looks like they have some kind of incandescent lights that come on. Ceiling is fallen. Toilet that flushes. They don't give you toilet paper. You need to bring your own. This is what you get for $25 a night. Boom. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joannis or Joe Hatagua. I'm a Sierra Leonean American living here in West Africa. And if you want to know what a $25 per night hotel room looks like in Bo, then this is the video for you. Okay, cool. So we are going to a hotel called Sahara Hotel. Sahara, Sahara Hotel. They have two actually in Bo. Uh, this is one of them. I thought it was okay. I mean, it's for the price that you're paying, you know, you get what you're paying for, right? So the cheaper room, of course, is a room that has just a fan, but it also had a balcony. That's fine, right? Because if you want to enjoy a smoke or something like that, you can sit on the balcony if that's something you do. But yeah, it was, it was not bad. I mean, it had storage space for your bags, storage space is big enough for your bags, had a table that you could work at if you needed to, and it had a bed if you needed. Um, so basically it had all your basics, anything that you might need. We had a fire, so they upgraded me to another room, and so you guys are gonna get a chance to see that other room. That room is more like $30 a day or 300,000 Leones per day. That one is um, much nicer. I mean, you have a mosquito net above the bed, you have the AC, you have hot water in the bathroom, the bed is bigger, you have a refrigerator, the desk is bigger, it has a mirror in there, it just has much more of the items that you would need. Also as a place to hang your towel, because the first room did not have a place to hang your towel. So I'm gonna go from one to the next, we're just gonna go from one, and then we'll just jump right into the next one. So, check them out. All right guys, so this is what $25 per night will get you here in Bo. So there's a hotel called the Sahara. They have many different rooms and different sizes and all those different kinds of things, right? So a small room with no cold water, no AC, but with a fan is $25 a night. So I stayed in the $25 per night room. So let me show you what this room looks like. All right, so first step in, you have a closet where I'm keeping some of my stuff. It's a pretty deep closet too, so my suitcases are all in the back there. Definitely wanna bring bug spray. Always bring, bring your bug spray, for sure. Um, they have a table here. It's right now covered with all of my stuff. Uh, my MiFi, I got a bunch of stuff here. Um, it is a crazy looking table. There's a lot of stuff on it, but just know that the table is for working. So you got a table, you got a mirror, of course. This is the fan that you get, so now, you get what you pay for, so the plug can be a little bit not so great, but there you go, check that out. So that fan blows. It's actually good enough for me, um, but they do just give you a straight up bed with the sheets like this, it's in no way. And yes, that is water there. If you saw those stains there, that's water. Um, I took my towel off and put it down there, so it's wet on the bed. Um, but they don't give you any sheets or anything, they just give you this. So it's, it's very like rudimentary, but it's fine. You get a fan, you get a trash can. I actually turned it upside down since I don't use the trash so that I could, when I charge my stuff, I can have it sitting up on something. Standard bathroom, toilet that flushes. They don't give you toilet paper, you need to bring your own. They don't give you a towel, so you need to bring your own. They do give you a bucket and they will bring you hot water if you request it. That is the shower. That shower is like a full-fledged hose. You turn it on and it goes on like full force, but the water is very cold. So you get the bucket, they'll give you warm water, you put it in the bucket, and then you just add some of the cold water to you know, get it to room temperature and you can shower with it. No mirror in the bathroom or anything. There's the little sink that you get, but you do get a balcony, which is cool. So these slippers I used to shower with because I'm not standing in that shower. But you do have an area out here where you can smoke, where you can chill. You want to just be outside and get the outdoors, get the cool breeze. You can sit out here. Um, so this is where I sat last night just to kind of get some breeze. Um, and I was doing some work out here as well. You do have a window in the bathroom, which I encourage you to open from time to time. But just always make sure you you know, you are careful of bugs. That's the door to go outside. And then this is another window you have. They do have screen in it. So that, that window stays open at all times to keep air coming in and out of here. And then I just spray that area before I come in and before I go with bug spray to ensure that I don't get insect issues. 
So yeah, that's the room, really cheap. This is what you get for $25 a night. No AC. Uh, there's some interesting things going on in the ceiling here. I don't know what that's all about. But um, yeah, $25 per night. Fire here in the hotel. Sparked here. While we were gone, look at everything that's happened. Ceiling has fallen. There was an actual fire. I guess they put it out, but it smells like smoke in here. You guys can't smell it, but it smells like smoke. Sand all over the place down here. So we gotta find another room to stay in. No question. So when the power goes out in the building, it looks like they have some kind of incandescent lights that come on. So this is with the flash on. Let me turn the flash off. So this is how dark it is in the room, but at least you have these lights, so it's not pitch dark. So they have one here, and then they have one in the bathroom as well. So that allows there to be some light in the room. All right. All right, so you walk into the room. There's a TV here. Don't mind the desk. There is a desk, which have bags on. They have a remote here for the TV, no back of remote. There's a chair here that goes for the desk. There's another chair over there, which I'm using. There's a refrigerator. Some of my suitcases, because I'm getting ready to leave. They do have a mosquito net in this room. They do have AC in this room. Um, there's no outdoor space. The window sees right to the front here. In the bathroom, you have a mirror, which you didn't in the other bathroom. There's a delineation between the shower and the rest of the room, right? So there's your little shower, but there is hot water, which is good. They give you a bucket as well. Obviously there's a toilet. The difference here is there's a bidet. So you actually have a bidet if you use it. And then of course a window for the bathroom. So that's the difference between the other room and this room. The bed is also bigger too. I think this bed is more of like a, let's say it's like a queen size bed, whereas the other bed was a full size bed. So bigger space, but yeah, that's the room. All right, guys, so what did you think of the hotels? Would you stay in the cheaper room? Would you stay in the more expensive room? Would you stay at this hotel at all? I mean, this is one of the two major options that you have there. What do you think? Do you think the price is right? What do you think about the place? What do you think about that fire? Let me know in the comments. Love to hear from you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you all in the next video. All right, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Like, comment, and share it with your friends. All right, see you on the next video.